Hong Kong Mahjong is a lot like Remy. If you like card games, you'd love it. There's a link below the video to a player reference with instructions on the back and scoring. Give it a try if you haven't yet. I'm going to do some random pulls. It'll give you a good idea of what it's like to work with the tiles. If you already know how to play and you have a set at home, give this exercise a try. It'll help your game. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. This is a window of the round indicator. We're going to do four random pulls, one for each wind of the round. This is important because if you get a three of a kind of the wind of the round, you can get score for that. So for this first random pull, it's east round. We're just going to say we're the dealer for each of these random pulls. So I'll get 14 tiles each time. We got our own flower. That's a point right there. For this set of tiles, I think I would try for all Pung, all three of a kind. We even have a pair of dragons. Any three of a kind of a dragon alone is a fawn, which is a scoring element. So if we got a three of a kind here, 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 and here, that would be all Pung. All we need here is to pair up any one of these. I think I would probably discard the single honors first because the likelihood of pairing up the number tiles is greater. All Pung, that's what I would try here. You can claim a discard to complete a three of a kind from any player at the table. So we would either claim a discard to complete them or draw into them. All Pung is a three fawn hand, plus we ha would have hopefully a Pung of the Dragon, that would be four, and then our own flower, this would be a five fawn hand, which is really good. Ten fawn is the max. So I would say that's a pretty good score. Let's go on to the next one. Random pull two, south round. We have a four flower. If we're east, we're player one. This is the flower for seat four, which is north. So we're not going to get score for that, but we do get a replacement. Six dot. So here we have a pair of West. We're East seat and it is South round. So we would not get additional score for a Pung of West's uh, wind, but we do have East and a dragon. And then here we have five BAMs, a pair of nine dots and some offsuit tiles. I think probably what I would do here, we have a six, seven or four, five, six, two potential chows here. I think what I would do here, I would discard these first and try for a half flush. We could pung the West maybe pair those up. This is the only weakness right now. But here we have a potential chow, potential chow. We could draw something maybe for the one. We have one, two, three blocks. You need four and a pair. I would hold this as long as possible. Get rid of these first. Try for half flush. One suit with winds and dragons. That would be a three fawn hand. If we paired up the green dragon or the east, I would pung those and then maybe do chows and pungs mixture in suits because that would bring down the score by three. Anytime you mix chows with two suits, you basically drive your score down by three. 
chows typically bring your score down. But if you have a half flush, that's three fawn, even with chows. That's why I would hold these for as long as possible. Maybe get rid of those last unless I pair it up. If I pair it up, maybe even all pung, but we only have two pair right now. So I'd say that's a long shot. Throw these away first, I think in this case, chow here, pung this, pair up, or get maybe some chow potential there. If you would do something different, if you play, write in the comment section, would you do all chow here? This could be the pair, throw these, chow, chow, chow. See, you'd have to either pair up or chow here. Either way, you'd have to get rid of a pair or split this out into different chows. That's one option. Would you play all chow or half flush? Write that in the comment section below. All chow would be one fawn, half flush would be three. Okay, we're gonna go on to the next one. This time we're on West Round. Two flower, we're east, so we're not gonna get score for that. Okay, here, pair, 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 pair. I would play all pung, all three of a kind. You could claim a discard to complete these or draw into it. I think what I would maybe do even, discard these first right here, hold these as long as possible because we do have chow potential. If we pung, 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 chow, pair, we could play half flush. This a half flush would be three, four for a dragon pung. So that would be four fawn. Or we could do, really it's six, one half dozen the other because if we pung, 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 and then pair up one of these, that's three fawn plus a dragon pung is four. So I think whichever comes first, I would discard these first Go for all pung probably, mix suit. And it's okay to mix suits with all pung because that's a three fawn hand right there. And if we could pung this dragon pair, that would be a fawn. Also, we're in the west round, wind of the round. We have a pair of west. If we pung that, that's a fawn too. So I think I would definitely leverage the pair here as opposed to going to half flesh unless my first pick or maybe a discard would be a seven bam i might sacrifice that this was a pretty nice onset here discard these first would you do all pung or half flush write in the comment section below random pull three and what you would do here If we did all pung, that would be three, four, five, or half flush, three, four, five. It's six, one half dozen, the other. Whichever comes first, I think, is what I would do. Last random pull, north round. single honors, isolated, potential chow, potential chow, potential chow, pair. I think I would try for all chow here. All chow. Those single honors are a weakness. These are all isolated. I think what I would do is discard this first. If I paired up any one of these honors, I would try for a half flesh and sacrifice the pair to go.
go for a three fawn hand. Pair up maybe the dragon or the east. Oh, it's north round. North round. If we paired any of these up and pung them, that would be fawn, a fawn each. So potential chow, potential chow, potential chow. Yeah, I think I would discard these first. Maybe sacrifice the seven dot. If that makes you cringe, write pound cringe in the comment section below. Would you play half flush or would you play all chow and discard the single honors? This exercise is a great way to gain confidence in making decisions on where to go with your drawn hand. All those tiles are random. You got to make something of it. Don't forget to look for the link below the video to the player reference so you can learn how to score. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Be sure to click the bell so that you get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next set of random polls for Hong Kong Mahjong, may all your picks be keepers.